Hi, Jeannie here, and today I'm going to show you how to correct a document that's loaded into DocuSign. So here I'm at DocuSign.com, and I have a free trial, so you can just go to Login and put in your username and password. You can also log in with Facebook if you like. So here I'm logged in, and I'm going to load in a document so you can see what's correctable. So let's go to start now. And we're going to upload. I'll just click into this box and I'm going to upload a blank template and go to open. Now this is going to give you a preview. If you click on view, it will give you a preview. And say you loaded in the wrong document. So you can apply templates. I don't usually use that. You can replace the document. You can download it, rename it, delete it, or view. So say I selected the wrong one. You just X out to delete it. And you can do this even when there are signers listed. So let me just add some signers. Let's go to the receipts. Let's just say I'm the only signer. And you can add a message. Passed. And you can also send a reminder if you want. So I sometimes do that manually. I don't normally set a number of days. So say we go to the next Let's go to sign. So it'll start prompting you to sign. Now we can go to other actions and we can finish this later. We can void it, assign it to somebody else, etc. So I'm going to finish this later. So let's go back, let's go to home, and it says one action required. So here is my blank template. I'm going to click into here, and if I want to correct it, I go to correct. Now there are a few things that you can correct and some that you can't. So you can upload an additional document. You can delete this and start over. But sometimes if you actually have something to edit right in here and you can't do it with correction, then you'll need to void it and start over. So I'm going to show you how to void it now. Um, so let's discard the changes. You can also go to advanced options. So I don't normally do automatic reminders or an expiration but you could. So let's go to cancel and say I don't have a way to correct these changes. So I'm going to discard and here I'm going to click in here and you can either go to the drop down and decide to void it or delete it. I usually like to void it so that I have it in my records when I go to manage and I can look at the categories so you can see by category what's completed etc so let's go to void and you can do a reason so if you have multiple signers on here they're going to get a message about why you're voiding this void test so let's void this and now you can start over so you can just go to home and you can start the document again if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell notifications so that you don't miss the next video. Have a great day.